Hiya. <laughs> How's it going? Sorry for the notification jump scare and whatnot. I'm I'm a tired boy, but I wanted to stream and I couldn't think of anything to do. And I was like, hey, I haven't done a Zatsu in a while, so let's do this thing. <laughs> How are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm, I will give you guys a little bit of heads up. I am using uh, desktop audio for the ambience. So if Slack decides to say hi or anything along those lines, I'm sorry if it ruins the mood. But hey, you don't subscribe to me for <laughs> the most premium quality stream content anyway. So <laughs> you're here. You're here for the Swedish funny man. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Hello, boy. It's me. Yeah, boy. I was actually um, full, full disclosure. I've, I've I've not slept a lot. So I'm a little bit tired, but I, I, I got a couple of hours in, so and then I might be a little bit lower energy than usual, but I just thought to myself like, hey, maybe we can, maybe we can take that and make it into something. And yeah, here we are. <laughs> I even redid the lighting a little bit, added a little bit of an orange glow, which could either be a disc lamp or a fireplace. Pick your choice. It's up to you. The choices are yours and yours alone. Are you doing okay though? I'm I'm doing fine. I actually had a couple of good laughs before the stream because uh, there was quite a few people in the NGN server just hanging out, playing video games. It was Shu and Sunny playing Street Fighter for a little bit. Uh, Wilson, uh, Wilson and uh, a couple of uh, other people were uh, they were they were playing Overwatch. We were just like talking, laughing, sharing jokes, sharing memes. It was uh, it was comfy. No, I'm playing Suica. Not this time around. Zali was there for a little bit, but I don't think he was playing Suica. But but it was nice. I haven't I haven't joined a group chat in quite a while, so it was nice seeing a bunch of people there. Maybe you need to sleep more. Maybe, but that's for later. Right now, I'm here. <laughs> This is where I want to be right now. He got two sweet guys. Yeah, I saw, I saw. It was... I, I couldn't believe it. Bonding time yippee. Yeah. I was joking around a little bit with Wilson. Wilson's su such a cool dude. Uh, not that, uh, speaking of Wilson, uh, I, gu I guess I can drop that spoiler right here. Uh, we don't know when exactly. We have decided on when. But there's a good chance we might do a collab next week, me and Wilson. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I picked up uh, out something that's gonna be quite fun. A little bit of a throwback. <sighs> Excuse me. Like one on one or group? Uh, one on one. Uh, I talked to him um, about like because I remembered this one. Like uh, I was thinking back to like old video games I used to play, and even though I never played like much of Call of Duty growing up, I do remember the the co-op missions in Modern Warfare 2. And specifically, there's like one in the snow where you're like, have to be stealthy with snipers and whatnot. And I was like, hey, Wilson, that sounds fun. You want you want to be a stealthy sniper with me? And uh, he's, he seemed to be down. So yeah, me and Wilson might, might do a little bit of Modern Warfare 2 next week. Maybe I should get some... Because there, there's another, like, stealthy sniper game called Sniper Elite. I don't know if we have perms for that. But I think that would be a lot of fun. I think you can do four-player co-op on that. So, dragging a few people together to do that. It seems like it would be a fun time. Nostalgia Gaming, let's go. Yeah, boy. Boy failure collab. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's a boy disaster and boy failure collab. Who is who? I leave up for, for you to decide. Mm. First time joining a stream? Well, welcome. We usually don't do what we're doing right now, but I hope that it's... It's relaxing or entertaining nonetheless. You're the boy disaster. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. That's my W for the day. <laughs> the title of boy disaster. 
Is boy disaster the plur uh, plural of boy failure? Not necessarily. A disaster can st still be relegated to one individual, I think. Morning, Aki. Morning, chat. Good morning. Even though it's not morning for me, I, I should have gone up a long while ago, but I did not because, uh, <laughs> hey, I am I'm stupid and irresponsible. Rain does for make make for nice ASMR. It really does, doesn't it? Speaking of ASMR, I've been thinking lately because of how much junk that I've had to go through with my ASMR microphone with getting it replaced. I'm genuinely thinking of getting like a cheaper cheaper one because the one that I spent my money on was really expensive. I'm thinking of getting a cheaper one in place of it until like I have like the the expensive big boy back in in the prime condition because I've been wanting to do more like like audio stuff as of lately because I feel like that like I want to do more stuff than just like you know play video games and be an all-around Swedish funny man as I always say I want to try and venture a little bit out of that and do things that are a little bit more I don't know creative for lack of a better term Triggers ASMR. I'm I, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna look into some triggers, or maybe maybe I'll do some script writing too. Finally, like get to dust off those writer skills, like audiobook style. Uh, not necessarily. If if, uh, if you have listened to my latest voice pack, the summer vacation one, then you have a kind of an idea what I'm going for. compose music for other Niji libraries? I don't know about that. Because the thing with me as a composer is I'm very, very limited. I can write the things that I know, and that's about it. I can't stand when people talk into ASMR mics, but so you do. Support all the way. Well, thanks. <laughs> that, that's the wonderful thing about the internet. If there's ever something that you are not a fan of, you can just, like, keep moving on. I like the sound design that you did in the voice pack. Thanks. I'm glad, I'm glad that you did. Even though we we went through a little bit of a... It, it's a little bit of a, um, a kerfuffle with the staff whenever we want to do our own sound effects. Because we, we got to separate the, like the voice and uh, the sound effects. And if you've done like some specific mixing and timing and volume automation, then you got to undo that and ask them to like re-add it back in. And it, it gets a little bit tricky, but... Things we gotta do. Beating up ASMR. I wouldn't actually do that. <laughs> it's funny as a meme, but I wouldn't actually do that. Is it rain real or is it sound effects? It's sound effects. <laughs> I wish that, it, that my apartment sounded like this. It does not. It's just gray outside. For the meme, please? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one day. I, I feel like I've done it on as a meme on certain streams. Well, with the uh, with the deep fried mic. So if you're really curious about it, then just go go look up that. I think there's a clip of me while playing only up where I basically did that. You know, stuffy by the way, uh, not as much as it used to be. I figured out why though. I think it's just because the air is starting to get cold, and as a result, it's really dry. So I feel like that's been the the culprit. So I ordered a humidifier. I'll probably get here sometime soon. What I've been doing recently, whenever I feel that my nose is being a problem, I just take a really hot, steamy shower and just just chill there for a little bit. Just like be like mm, warm water and then com contemplate existence. And while you're doing that, like your body's getting heated up and there's like steam filling the room. Filling your bathroom and everything, and while you're breathing that, it just cleans things up a lot, warms you up. All that good jazz. Many people feeling sick recently? Yeah. There's a lot of people feeling sick. Any plans for Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving is not really a thing over here, so I don't celebrate it. But... Hey, like, there's plenty of things that I'm grateful for. 
I don't I don't really know. Like, isn't Thanksgiving just another excuse to eat a lot of food? What do you actually do during Thanksgiving or other than say, I am thankful for blank? Is that basically what you do? Eat a lot of food and say, like, oh man, I appreciate this thing. Spend a lot of money on a big meal? But I'm just one guy. I don't eat a lot. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I'd, I, I eat a lot sometimes. Seeing far away family. The thing is, my family is not really far away. They're long ago. <laughs> I, see, that, that that's the problem with me. I've, I've found some way around it, but it does complicate things. More audio engineer Ike, yes please. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. And um, yeah, I'm I do want to do more audio stuff in the future. I'm just not really sure what to do. I feel like I've exhausted my audio engineering entertainment capabilities. Like there's only so so many times I can mix a vocal and tell you exactly what an EQ is. Comfy rain vibes? Yes, comfy rain vibes. I was feeling feeling like it today. Long distance relationship? No, long time relationship. That sounds like a headache to wrap your head around. But hey, time travel is a headache. Sound effect design maybe? Maybe I could do that. Maybe if I ever do some sort of like... Like thing that is really like heavy on sound effects. I can like go through that. I think the the most like elaborate sound effects thing I have done is like a long time ago in order to practice doing sound effects and sound design I would take like scenes from anime and then try to redo all the sound design from scratch and occasionally I would like uh, have certain breakthroughs where I figured out because I was always listening to like the original and uh, the original language track and uh, the English dub and listening to the sound effects and really paying attention to what they were doing, what type of sounds they used, and how do they make them sound certain ways, or how do they make the dialogue sound certain ways, like, wh wh what makes a, a fan dub on YouTube not sound the same as a studio recording? Surely it must be more than just the microphone, and then when you experiment around a little bit, then you actually figure out what, what those things are, for example, um, room tones is a big thing that a lot of people forget, which is why it doesn't always feel like you're actually watching a scene, you're just listening to people talking in a room. Or if you add like a little bit of echo to the voices, even though they're completely like echoless in the original recording, when you're, when you're filming, for example, people in a room, there is like a little bit of echo. So you just gotta add that in in order for it to like sound natural. And the first time I figured that out and added it in, and all of a sudden it started sounding more and more professional. I felt so proud of myself. Kobode, thank you so much for the Akka. Jesus. I finally got a purple nib. Thank you for a whole year of happiness. Thank you so much. Congrats on the purple. Thank you for staying, sticking around for so long. Sound design is so important. It really is. It's very difficult to find the right, right sound effects too. Because it's very easy to find like, let's say, like a sound effect for footsteps. But it's hard to find sound effects for good footsteps. So many purples now. Yeah, quite a few of them. And in just like a little bit more than two months, we are going to, I think we are going to start seeing our first diamond, diamond sparkly ones. It's going to be surreal to me. That's going to be absolutely surreal to me. Looking forward to the diamond, thanks. I'm looking forward to it too. There's a lot of stuff that I'm doing right now that I'm like planning. 
I've been wanting to, like, I've been thinking for ages. Yeah, I've been stuck in this sort of mindset where you, you have a bunch of ideas that you're really excited about, that you feel really good about, that you're, like, you're thinking about, man, when I do this, it's gonna be so cool. But you don't actually move past the, like, the conceptual stage. So I've been trying to break out of that as of lately and sit down and actually write and plan out various things that I want to do. I think right now, like, there's three big things that I'm that I'm planning involving like quite quite a lot of people <laughs> I have no idea when these things are gonna happen could be like could be within a month could we be within five months or whatever but I'm really really pushing for just like finally organizing something really cool see as a writer with a million ideas real yeah let me let's shake hands on that. It doesn't just go for like this kind of stuff. It goes for anything. Any new covers in mind? Always, always. I have. I'm I'm currently waiting for the okay for a few of them. There's one in particular that I'm very excited about. I'm not gonna say too much about it, but uh, I did. I think we decided on it like a week or two ago. Where it kind of. On a whim, we were just like talking about stuff, and then we just got the idea of like, hey, what if we did this? And then, uh, yeah, we kicked that into motion, and now we're just waiting on a go ahead, and then we'll throw things into in into the work machine. That ended up be being an Utsupi song. It's not an Utsupi song. It is not. I do want to sing an Utsupi song at some point. There's a few ones. Like I was I was listening to Hyper Reality Show earlier actually. Which is such a banger. Hint, wink wink, absolutely not. No hints for me. They're just gonna have to deal with the the waiting room jump scare as always. You see, it's you guys' fault that I've that I've grown fond of doing that. Because I remember when I just like dropped Kronos one day and everybody was in Utter shock and confusion. Same with Mayday. And uh, just seeing the utter shock and confusion has... Uh, I, I sort of took a liking to it. So uh, that, that that's how I'm doing things from now on. Just like, not prompted whatsoever. Just bam, boom, bada bap, bam, bap. With blue light, at least some of you... At least some of you were expecting it because I'd been teasing it for ages. But not Maze. Maze was completely... a complete blindside. Which I very much enjoyed. <laughs> oh no, we trained him wrong. <laughs> you didn't train me, I was always like this. <laughs> Sorry. The famous Ike Evelyn in all caps, yeah. He gets trending every single time. Whenever I do something like that, it's just like Ike Evelyn, all caps, trending. It's just because people don't, don't they, they just tweet that and nothing else. Why, why you are our Oshi? Is that a question or like a reason? I don't know. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it. Sorry to say, but I will, I will, I am kept getting away with it and I will continue to get away with it. Until it stops being fun, which is probably never. <laughs> Why is my Oshi like this in a good way, of course? I don't know. I am I am damaged goods in one way or another. I <laughs> I usually I don't I, I don't even know. I don't know where I was going with that, I'm sorry. Only because we let you get away with it. Oh, is that is that it? How it is now? You let me get away with it. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Alexa, define copium. Hikui koi no nihongo mo saiko. 
そうなのクイクイの日本語はなんか別な感じかな。クソデカボイス、クソデカ。<笑>あんまりでかくないですけど。The rain's getting heavier. Heavy rain. <笑> Jason. <笑> Jason. <笑> sorry. I'm sorry. Can you say something in Swedish?、Uh, Sluta koka era köttbullar och börja steka dem istället. There you go. It's a little bit of Swedish for you. Translate.、Uh, it means stop boiling your meatballs and start using a frying pan. Känner mig attackerad. Bra. Stek dina köttbullar. Koka dem inte. People boil meatballs? I know. It's weird, isn't it? He's never letting that go. Never. Listen, if you keep giving Sweden crap for banana pizza, I will keep giving you all crap for boiling meatballs. You're still mad about that? I'm not mad. I'm just trying to set you guys on the right path. You have been led astray. You've lost your way, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to set things right. What the heck is banana pizza?、Uh, it kind of says on the can, doesn't it? It's pizza with banana on it. It's a Southeast Asia dish. Okay. Yeah, but like, th there's th the thing you gotta understand is like, there's different kinds of meatballs. Like, I know that there's、uh, different ways of preparing meatball,、uh, meatballs across the world. Like, for example, when I, if you guys remember when I had my language collab with、uh, Leila,、uh, we talked a little bit about Indonesian meatballs. And I believe that those are. I believe those are boiled. They're prepared in a different way. But I'm talking about like the, the Swedish kind, the Swedish meatballs that you buy frozen at the store and then you throw them in a pan, cook them, and serve with whatever else. Usually mashed potatoes and gravy. b u x o l yeah, exactly. That, that's the one. Banana pizza or pineapple on pizza? Easy. Pineapple. Banana do not, does not. Belong there with pineapple, it's kind of like I don't like it myself, but I see the vision.、If、that makes sense. Sweden, no meat ball, t a b e t a i Ikea, the Udu, the show. スウェーデンのミートボール。売ってますよ。おいいじゃん。アイキアカメンクラッチ、always。And with jam, right? Exactly. With the lingonberry jam. You gotta have the lingonberry jam. That, that's, how you, that's how you elevate it. That's how you make it truly Swedish. It's the lingonberry jam. Mm mm mm. <laughs> Are you participating in the Niji Suika tournament? No, I am not. I thought about it, but I was like, ah, may, maybe not. I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing everyone else play, though. It's gonna be hype. You usually have lingonberry jam in your fridge? And no. I'm more of a strawberry jam kind of guy these days. I'm not crazy about lingonberry jam as most people. I like them with pancakes and with、uh, blood pudding. That's about it. Otherwise, I prefer. We have, we have this mix between raspberry 
and blueberry called Queen Jam, Drottning Sylt. Tend to like that quite a bit with uh, like pancakes and whatnot. What's blood pudding? Uh, it's like a like a clump that's made out of pig's blood or something, and then you just slice it up into thin slices, throw it in a pan, turns kind of almost black. It has a little sort of like salty flavor to it, but then you just put some jam on it, and it's delicious. It's a lot of people that really don't like it. It's very much you love it or you hate it kind of deal. Personally, I love it. A dessert? No, I, I don't know. It's kind of like, kind of like a main dish. At least I always thought of it as one. Um, there was this one, like usually in terms of what you should drink with it, milk is usually the best choice drinking anything else would just kind of feel gross or too sweet or anything like that and i remember once when i was way younger and and there was an adult just like supervising where i uh where i was staying at the time because you know young ike was was used to fending for himself but at that point it was kind of like okay not not, not so bad like having somebody to just look after things and they prepared like some blood pudding for dinner once which was hype but the thing is that they pro probably thought that, oh, I'm going to be nice to Ike. And instead of, instead of giving him some boring old milk or water for dinner, I'm going to give him some strawberry lemonade. And don't get me wrong, I love strawberry lemonade, but it goes awful with blood pudding. It was disgusting. But I didn't have the heart to tell them, so I just, like, smiled and kept eating and drinking. It's like, eh. <laughs> but black pudding? It, it, I don't know. Black pudding, blood pudding, it, potato, potato. Same kind of thing, I think. Oof, ah, it's, it's fine. I've, I've done that twice. I remember when I was over at a friend's place and their mom served me... They, they, they served both me and the other person hot dogs. And I can only eat like a very specific type of hot dog that isn't even like a proper hot dog because of it it's, doesn't have enough meat in it to be classified one, as one. But it was like a boiled hot dog and I hate boiled hot dogs so much. But I didn't want to be rude, so I just essentially forced myself to eat both of them out of politeness, and it was not fun. How many flavors of ramen have you tried? Maybe three, I believe? Excuse me, boiled. Yeah, boiled hot dogs are a thing. Microwave hot dogs is where it at? There's microwave hot dogs? That's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like the sound of that. <laughs> like versus boiled meat part two. Oh my god, you're right. That's the second time I've dealt with unpleasant boiled meat. Politeness can sometimes be scary. That it is. What is it, a boiled hot dog? It's just a special type of hot dog that you're meant to boil. In Swedish, we call it kuk korv, which just means a boiling, boiling hot dog. Or boiled sausage. I'm not. I'm not huge on, on like sausage in general. It's just certain kinds of sausages that I make an exception for. Boiled glizzy. <laughs> yeah, that my favorite type of sausage is probably falukorv. It's very Swedish too. Any of like the the uh, like the more proper. Like sausages, like bratwurst and chorizo and all that jazz. I'm I'm not a huge fan of. Some people love that. I'm I'm not. Why do y'all boil everything? I don't know. Pe people needed to figure out agriculture one way or another. <laughs> or another. Is boiled hot dog healthy? I would assume not. It's a hot dog. It's it's not gonna be healthy no matter what you do. <laughs> You can boil me, Ike. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I, I do not know what to say to that. <laughs> Sorry. 
What does that even mean? I don't know, man. I just saw it scroll by. <laughs> Sometimes you, you guys take me off guard. I actually was thinking about a stream idea, but I don't know if it would work for me because like you guys are not you guys are not like that. At least I, th I at least I don't think so. I've never seen anything. But like I thought about doing like a tier list where I would like ask people to anonymously sort of submit like wild tweets in relation to like myself. Or maybe other Niji livers, and then just sort of like, okay, let let's put, let's put them in different tiers of wild. We we can be like, ah, eh, this is mild baby talk, a little rowdy, and then just like, dear God, why would you publish this online? But see, what you gotta understand is like, it 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 has to be tweets that are a little bit old. I don't want people just making new tweets for the sake of getting included. So I want to get, like, before a certain date. So I, I, I want to see if I can find some, uh, like, have people submit things that are before a certain date. Caught in 4K livestream? Yeah, perhaps. There's a lot. Is there really? Because I, I thought that, like, if I did this, like, uh, maybe I will get, like, zero submissions. Most of those are locked accounts. That makes sense. That makes sense why I haven't seen any of it. Hmm. That may, I don't know. I don't know if people would be willing to share like what they put on locked accounts. Probably not. Don't snitch. <laughs> yeah, I, I should probably make it so that like people can only submit their own their own tweets or I, there's I guess there's no way for me to like verify people do that I can just like make a plea like hey please if this is not your tweet then maybe don't submit it like against someone's will I'll have probably it's like is and just so I go into them blind I'll probably like ask someone else like staff or something to like sort a few out and curate them and then I can just like go through them blind and we'll see Let's see how it goes. It's just something I thought about. And thought, like, mm, will this go well? Will this go poorly? We're gonna traumatize stuff, son. It, the thing is, what you gotta understand... Our stuff, son, is not just any stuff, son. This is not your ordinary stuff, son, that you're dealing with. This is Niji Sanji staff. They have to deal with us. Nothing phases them at this point. Need to understand that, like, this is the same staff that started posting feet pictures in our general chat. With socks, mind you, but still. I'm not entirely sure why they did do it, but it was something that happened at one point. They went, yeah, it was like socks, slippers, and shoes, but like, for whatever reason, that's something that happened one day. And uh, we were just like, okay, I guess this is happening now. <laughs> Don't say for free. Weren't there thigh pictures too? There probably was at some point. I, I wouldn't put it past needy staff. Do the livers join too? I don't think so. But yeah, like I told you about when we went to Japan and I got to meet some uh, a lot of EN staff and like how I taught them to bottle flip and uh, how one of them was trying to teach the others how to floss and everything. So it was just staff? Yeah, pretty much just staff.
アウェイさんありがとうございます。アイク君とシナモンロールのコラボグッズ届きました。めっちゃ可愛いです。ありがとう。えー、そうなの嬉しい。I, also, I want it to reach me too. Like I'm sitting here like twiddling my thumbs like I want it. I want it so bad. I want me and cinema roll. I want it already. <laughs> Your voice is much deeper than usual. That's because I'm very tired. I'm not properly woken up and I'm holding back yawns as much as I can. I have found my Oshi staff son. The, the thing about、uh, staff son is that like, a lot of us basically would Oshi them if we could. How much sleep did you get? I don't know, a few hours. I didn't force myself to wake up. It was just like I nodded off and woke up again and I was like, oh yeah, whatever. Let's, let's face the day. Did Staff Sun keep some merch for you? They usually do. They usually keep merch of ourselves and then give it to us. Some, but sometimes we buy our merch anyways. Because, like, we want our. We want our own copy of something. Or maybe we want、uh, some,、uh, some of the other livers, some of our friends. Like, I know that some people, they just.、Uh, they buy their entire wave. I've done that quite a few times with Luxium. There's like a lot of Luxium stuff that I have the entire set of because like I wanted all the gang. So there's quite a few sets that I have of all the boys, Mr. Included. Mmm. You have those big model standees, though? What, you mean the acrylic stands? Yeah, I do. I get the whole gang. Both our, like, our, regular,、uh, our regular live 2D illustrations and our key visuals. Yeah, do you have the hangers? <laughs>、uh, I have one of myself, yes. Staff Sun gave me one of myself. It looks. <laughs> it looks bizarre. It、looks very, very bizarre. It doesn't help that that uses like my old facial expression, where I'm just like completely stone faced. Do you use the hangers? No, I do not. It's a funny thing to have, and it's a funny thing to show people, but I don't actually use it. The depressed face, yeah. <laughs> What does bizarre mean?、Uh, it's basically a way of saying strange. Where do you put them then? What do you mean? The hanger or the, my clothes? You think I don't have coat hangers? Do you think the only coat hanger I have is <laughs> one of my own face? That I didn't sign up for this hanger? Yeah. And that seems about right. When I <laughs> was still very much of that mindset from time to time. My mother just looked at you and called you a gentleman. Oh, if only she knew how wrong she was. <laughs> I am a chaos gremlin at heart. With the Ftaba shirt on it. <laughs> I mean, I, I prefer to, like, when I'm done with my laundry, I fold my clothes together and put them in a cl clothes drawer. The only things that I use my coat hangers for is, like, like, my cape and, like, my sweaters and my jackets. That's about it. <sighs> Wait, do you have a Futaba shirt? Yeah. It was a present from a friend.、Uh, it was around the time when Yu Yu Yupi's album Draw came out. And they bought the album for me and shipped it to me. And when it arrived, they had included a Futaba shirt without telling me. And they just said, like, You're welcome. Extra present for ya, boy. And I just yelled at them, like, How dare you? How dare you give me things? <laughs>
nice memory. That's okay. Yeah, they're a, they're a really cool dude. How dare you give me affection? That's such a mood. I'm, I I usually don't know how to react to it. I still don't. As like whenever people say nice things to me, I'm just like, okay, yeah, but are you sure though? Are you sure that you're that you know what you're talking about? And then you wore it backwards inside out that one time. Yeah, that one time I wore it inside out and I didn't notice until way later. Okay, it seems like I'm not the only one. <laughs> Yay, we're all we're all ter terribly awkward and introverted. Affection? Disgusting. Do it again. I don't think it's disgusting. I just don't know how to react to it a lot of the time. I'm like... Because a lot of the time I'm just like... Okay, well, like, w w w how do I repay you for this? Surely I must do something because I know I haven't done anything to deserve this, so I must have to do something later to deserve this. So what do you want? <laughs> Which is a stupid mindset to have, but hey... A stupid mindset for a stupid person. And that's me. <sighs> oh, goodness me. Jesus freaking Christ. Hokiboshi-san. Thank you for the 50 gifted. You did not have to do that, but I am very, very grateful. Jesus. I'm just sitting here and, like, talking half asleep. And you just decided to, like, roll up and just kaboom. It's a package that just exploded in gifts. Thank you so much. That's very, very nice of you. What did I miss? And uh, not much. Just just me rambling your ear off. Blah 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 blah. Isn't that how we got the first karaoke? Yes. It was a lot of incredibly generous people that just threw a bunch of stuff at me and I did not know what to do and in a panic I was like, I have to do something. I have to do something to give back, to show how grateful I am and that's when I agreed to do a karaoke for the first time. Yeah, it was way before I felt that I was ready for it, which is why I was so nervous. In the moment that I agreed to it, I regretted it instantly. So that's why I spent like a whole week like practicing and preparing, not drinking any milk. Because I, I was so terrified of making a terrible first impression. <laughs> it went better than expected, thankfully. I do want to do, uh, like, a something for, like, the two-year anniversary of that karaoke stream. I just hope that I can get all the stuff done for it in time, because, like, that, if I, like, I haven't started on anything or like that, but I do know that I would want to make it very special. Like, some sort of, like, celebration for, like, the two-year anniversary of that stream, because it, it is, it is one of my fondest memories. But I just don't know what to do yet. Like, well, I, I, that, that, actually, that's a lie. I do know what I want to do, but I have to re prepare a lot of stuff for it. A lot of stuff, a lot of moving parts, a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Luxium two years is just a month away, too. Yeah, there's that, too. There's like, quite a few anniversaries coming up. You should make the whole stream just singing One Direction, but the lyrics are, you're insecure. I <laughs> I already did that, though. Kind of. When we did English karaoke, we did that. It's been two years. Yeah, two years. Can you believe that? December is pretty hectic. It's pretty hectic for a lot of people. It's the holiday season. 
It's a lot of work stuff. Uh, a lot of people travel to go see family and whatnot. You Luxian puppet, please. <laughs> what would even be different? Like the different outfits? But that's the thing about the puppet. You can, get, you can give it any outfit you want. You can fit them in in quite a few things. There's also Niji Fest. Yep, there's Niji Fest. That's going to be... Uh, a big event as well. Any plans for Christmas? No. Not as of right now. I'm probably going to take it easy around Christmas time as I usually do. I think most people do. Might have a stream here or there. Have you tried your 2.0 hair with your first outfit? I cannot do that. I, I coincidentally, it's raining right now while I'm on the bus, curled in my hoodie, watching the city lights from afar in the dark. Feels cozy, listening to your calm vibes despite the stressful day, so thank you for being here anytime. Hope you get home safely. New goal for 2024. Uh, can I just continue on the goals that I set for this year that I haven't completed yet? Is that is that valid? Okay, cool. Very cool, very good. Can renew some of them, maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> There's short-term girls and long-term girls. I guess so, yeah. Miku collab in 2024 trust. Uh, <laughs> one can dream. I'll, t I'll take the fact that me and Miku have both been, uh, had a collab with Cinema Roll. So th that, that puts us a little bit closer. I'm a little bit closer in the presence of greatness. I take that W. Cinema Roll is just your mutual friend. Exactly. Maybe I'll maybe I'll ask him. Maybe I'll ask him like, "Hey, you know Miku, right? Could you could you put in a good word for me? I'd love to talk to her." <laughs> the Lulu. <laughs> Well, you never know. You never know. Weirder things have happened. Lydia, thank you so much for the 10 gift. That's okay, I mean. Where is this English? Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. It's still raining? It's not actual rain. It's just sound. Psychic cinema roll is a must. Well, it's already happened. It's already real. It's a thing. Niji Ian and Sanrio is very much a thing. So if you love Sanrio and you love Niji Ian, well, boy, do I have the collab for you. It's it's, it's canon. <laughs> it sold out fast. Yeah, it was very speedy. Can't wait for the merch to arrive. Me either. I'm still waiting for it. Oh yeah, I should probably ask uh, Staff Son if I can post post some merch that I've that I've bought as of late. Because there, there's one, but there's two specific like charms I really want to post. Not Niji and related? Well, one of them is. One of them is me. The other one isn't. The other one is not Niji Ian.
Is it normal to be watching Ike streams while studying? Very. There's many people that do that. I don't... Actually, let me check. Do, do I have them outside of my booth here? Hold on. Let me... Let me check. Nope. They're not there. They're somewhere else. <sighs> Excuse me. Sleepy Tuscar dude. <laughs> why, why is me being sleepy something that's worthy of a Tuscar dude? I don't understand that. I'm glad for you, don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, huh? <laughs> why though? Midi Sinai it. Yeah, it's it's okay, don't worry. If I turn if I start to shut down completely, I'll I'll know. And I'll put a stop to things and be like all right, I'm, my body is like going pew and shutting down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and try to get some rest. Ugh, so many yawns today. Sleep stream? I don't know about that. <laughs> I kind of want to check how loud I am when I sleep before I even consider doing anything like that. Like something along the lines of... I know there are apps that like record when it detects a certain level of noise so i don't know i want to see if i if i talk in my sleep or if i snore or anything like that i want to know that first before i even consider it maybe this stream is relaxing because you're sleepy i could possibly be it I decided to leverage the the sleepiness I don't know if it's working out well or not, but hey, it's something. How about another shower string? Absolutely not. I regret doing that. <laughs> I can, like, it, it, it's very, like, looking back at that, I'm like, that that was embarrassing. Well, I, I do, like, that was very stupid of me to do. Pokemon Sleep, what's on the mask? I not play Pokemon Sleep. I don't even know what it is. I just know that Pokemon Sleep was a thing. I don't know what it is or how it works or anything like that. It was fun? Well, as long as you thought it was fun. Just me waterboarding myself. Excuse me. What if you caught yourself sleeping and hear somebody else? Uh, that would mean that I would have to move. I sleep with Pokemon as background music. Okay, that that's based. I love falling asleep to sounds, any sort of sounds, whether that be like a video. Uh, certain types of uh, music or or like just like really long videos of people talking Mexican salamander thank you very much for the super chat I fall asleep to Omori music there's quite a few calming Omori tracks I can see that play something like elevator music I feel like that would make me go insane Isn't that everybody's complaint? How uh, elevator music just like is so brain dead and mind numbing that it just like drills your and drills itself into your head, and then just uh, won't leave. Can't wait to see you on the twenty sixth in Thailand. I can't wait either. It's gonna be so hype. I've been practicing a lot. 
Because, like, Blue Light is a really, really hard song to sing. So I've been practicing so that it goes well. Especially, like, alternating between screaming and singing is something that I need to work a lot on. I just, I just hope it goes well. <laughs> Do you know anything in Thai? I know Sawasdi. <laughs> My pronunciation is probably ter terrible, but that's the one, one thing that I know. Sawasdi. Sawasdi. It'll go well. Thank you. What did you eat? Uh, I have had nothing to eat yet. I haven't had lunch. No lunch, no breakfast, no nothing. You don't pronounce the S at the end of syllables. It becomes T. Well, that would have been good to know. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, I, Lord knows I still have things to learn. Is it Sawadi? Uh, Sawadi? Huh? I'll, I'll, I'll eat if I'm if I get hungry. I'll do my best. What does Ike remind me of IKEA? Absolutely no reason. There is absolutely no reason that my name is Ike. And that I'm Swedish. That is uh, Entirely, purely coincidence, because, like, obviously, um, uh, uh, my parents didn't know about the existence of Ikea when they named me, now did they? It's not like we, it's not like I picked my name myself or anything, that, that's not how names work. <laughs> uh... I would thrive in the Harry Potter universe. I mean, some of the names in the Harry Potter universe are kind of like, what? <laughs> Ike and Ikea collab went, yo, that, that would be hype. If they could hook, hook me up with like an official blow high collab, I would be very happy. It'd be nice to probably have somebody with, with the blow high that actually knows how to pronounce it. Blow high with the glasses? Ooh, that I feel like that would be cute. Put put, put glasses on the blow high. Why not? Low high supremacy. See, yeah. I remember. Uh, I remember there was one friend that I was talking to that wanted another IKEA animal. It was the bear. Uh, that was. I think. Uh, I think it's called Jungelskog, which literally means jungle forest, but he pronounced it like Dungleskog. And I thought it was the funniest thing. Dungleskog is like such a funny way to pronounce it. Like when he said it, I lost it. That's how you pronounce it? No. You do not say Dungleskog. Anybody that says that is wrong, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Petra also wanted one, though. I think so. It, I know that Petra said Blahage, which I thought was amusing. But then again, I, I'm crap at pronouncing other languages, so, like, I just found it amusing. 
I'm sure people find it amusing whenever I butcher any other language that I am attempting. What does it mean? It literally means jungle forest. How is it pronounced if it's not blahaj? Blow a high. That's how you say it. Blow a high. When you try when you try German, it's cute. I don't know about that. Shark is blue shark, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Your voice is deep today? I know, I'll be keeping told that, but that's just because I'm tired. <sighs> oh, Kinyako san, arigato gozaimasu. Eh, to. Milk will be warmed up. Oh, that's nice. Aiki is hot milk. じゃなくてね、に、蜂蜜入れる。うーん。蜂蜜か。蜂蜜か。うーん。あんまりしたことないです。もう蜂蜜結構好きんので、なんかいつかやってみようかな。<笑>ココアの方がいいかな。ココアえメイビーだ、これは。いや、メイビー。おいしいよね。うーん、I kinda wanna try it now。なんかやってみたい。食べてみたい。<笑>やってみたいって。うー。I haven't had honey milk in like so long. I think the last time I had honey milk was like when I was still in school. That's very, very long ago. <sighs> what time is it? It's like a little bit in the afternoon. I, sh I should be wide awake at this point, but my sleep schedule said no. But I was awake, I was around, I just spoken to some friends in Niji EN, so. I was like, you know what? Gorilla sleepy free chat, why not? Let let's go. I feel like that'll be fun, and so far I'm having fun. So we have that going for us. When did you even sleep? I don't know. At like, I don't know, like, like 6 a.m. maybe? 6 a.m. I was asleep for like two, three hours or so, and then I woke up and I was like, oh, okay. I, I'm fully aware that that is uh, a peak degen hours. <laughs> Being in night shifts are hard. It's not even that I am night shifts. I just have a terrible sleeping schedule. Have, I've always had. I think if I'm thinking back to when my... Uh, terrible sleeping schedule started was probably like god what year did Skyrim come out <laughs> um 2011 2012 somewhere around there that that's when I started staying up late That's when I started staying up really late, and uh, yeah, I think I, t I told you guys about this before, how and I would stay up late, and on my computer, like, uh, you could see the screen being on th uh, through the crack underneath my door, 
So I would get like a bunch of clothes to like stuff that up so that nobody could see that I was still on my computer at like 3 or 4 a.m. And that's what I did. I stayed up, I watched YouTube, uh, I made things, and I played uh, visual novels. That's what I did. I've been wanting to like read more visual novels as of late. I, I barely have any time for that anymore. I don't really play a lot of games these days. Like the the main the main times I play games is on stream. Which is a little bit sad when you think about it. It's just that I don't know. Finding time for something that is um, that is like a lot a huge time commitment that you really like want to sink your teeth into without just like that, that you're really gonna put your put in proper like time and effort into appreciating then it it's uh it's a little bit tricky that's why like i i know that there were some uh, some streamers that just like took a break when elden ring came out and it was just like i'm taking i'm like i'm taking a week off because i i just wanna i just wanna soak this in I just want to soak in all the all the Elder Ring goodness. Why do you sleep like you're still in college, man? Because I have terrible control of my life. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. It's just it's kind of weird. I don't know for how long I've been like this, but a lot of the time when I'm up really late, even though I am tired, I don't have the motivation to go to bed. If that makes sense, it's it's a really it's a little bit weird. It's just like yeah, like I couldn't like I couldn't go to bed, but technically isn't that wasting time that I could be spending doing something else? And sometimes that time that I'm not even spending doing something productive, I'm just wasting time on, like, YouTube or something like that. It's like I'm procrastinating on sleep. Why do humans need motivation to sleep? I feel like I shouldn't, but sometimes I'm just like... Like, I know I've heard a lot about mo lacking motivation to go out of bed. And I've been there too, sure, but... There's also the, mo like, the lack of motivation to actually go to bed. <laughs> Which is such a strange thing when you think about it. It's like, come on, like, it's rest. Like, you get to, like, relax. It should be the easiest thing in the world. But for whatever reason, I'm just like, ah, I can't be bothered to sleep. How do you procrastinate sleep? I don't know. You, you're like me and have something wrong with your head. <laughs> Naps are amazing, though. Yeah, I feel like I, I shouldn't be taking as many naps as I do. It's probably the naps that are the reason my sleep schedule is as bad as it is. It's because when I'm when I get into those grooves of basically feeling like oh I I don't have the motivation to go to sleep. Instead, I stay up to the point where my where I'm at the point of shutting down. And that's where I'm just like, okay, I can't fight it anymore. Now I have to. Sometimes I'm able to fight back and be be like, okay, I'm I'm gonna be an organized boy right now. I'm gonna get my stuff together. But then eventually you just <sighs> hesitate to call it relapse, but I guess that's kind of technically what it is. You just relapse right back and and then you're awake at four in the morning, wide awake. Okay, this is getting good, kind of gloomy. Let's see if there's anything else we can talk about that's a bit more fun. <laughs> Excuse me for the hiccup. Mm. 
and something fun we can talk about. Just sing Amazing Grace. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been to Japan. I've been to Japan three times this year, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Went once in January, once in February, and once in September. It was very fun. I hope I can go again sometime soon. I want to go some some place that's uh, like I've only gone outside of Tokyo once when I went to Kawagoe, but I, w I want to go to other places. I want to go to Kyoto. I want to go to Osaka. I want to go to to Kobe. All oh, that good jazz. I want to uh, I want to go to Shirakawa go. Too. If I ever go during like spring or like early summer, I want to go to Shirakawa go. Just be, uh, I know that there's a few people that have actually gone to. Uh, uh, Shirakawa go with my acrylic stand and the puppet and taking pictures and I remember seeing them on Twitter and I was just so full of joy. Anime no seiji janakute seiji junrei ii yo ne. Yeah, like, it, it's always fun to find those places. Just make your own little pilgrimage. That's a hard word to say. Seichi Junde. That's hard to say. <laughs> Random question. If someone brought uh, an Ike puppet to their formal or uh, prom as a date, how would you feel about that? Uh, go for it. <laughs> Just be careful, like there might be some people that look at you a little bit weird. But as long as you don't mind that, go for it. Go to places in P5? I mean, that's just Tokyo. I have I have been to those places. <laughs> like I, I I have been in Shibuya. Took my Nui to a concert yesterday, but it was me uh, playing on stage, so it was like a good luck charm. Hey, let's go! I can just imagine a little Ike laying on top of an amp. No, I have not been to Disneyland, but I wanna. I feel like a lot of- uh, there's a lot of Ian members that have been to like Disneyland and Universal and all that jazz. I'm one of the people that haven't, so I wanna change that. I wanna go! Sounds like a blast. <laughs> Takusan, arigatou gozaimasu. Gotta take the 7.30 bullet train tomorrow morning. Oof. There's many people on the train who go to work like me. Good night, Ike. And, um, I hope Ivy would ha have that one too. Sorry for my poor English. Your English is fine, by the way. Don't worry about it. Good luck on the bullet train. Are there any country that you would like to visit that you haven't? There's a lot. I feel like I've talked about a few of them. Let me see if I can think of a new one that I haven't, I haven't been to. Or like that I haven't mentioned much. Uh, let's see, something at the top of my head. You know what? Ironically enough, like, th this might, this is, uh, 
this might be heresy for me as a Swede to say, but I want to go to Norway. I want to see the fjords. I've never actually been to Norway. Seeing the fjords in person seems like it would be cool. Heresy for me to say that as a Swede, because <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, we're supposed to have like a sibling rivalry with Norway. Have you ever seen the Northern Lights? Yes. Yes, I have. Are you to betray your own country? Listen, sometimes you, you, might, you might have a feud with your neighbor, but sometimes you run out of, you run out of milk and you gotta go, go over and ask for it. Beggars can't be choosers. If you were to have milk, I mean, with some attitude, sure, there might be a, there might be some sort of like convenience store that has milk close and close enough to the fjords for to, to have me to give me an excuse to go see them. Twelve months. I'm glad I'm still here. I'm glad that you're still here too. Thank you for sticking around. The neighbor who drills all day, yeah, but that neighbor is in Norway. Is the milk lact lactose free though? Like again, like I said again, beggars can't be choosers. That's the thing about being lactose intolerant, you just don't care. <laughs> Ever been to Australia? No, because Australia kind of scares me. There's so many things there that would kill me. And there's also... The whole thing with uh, the heat. It's very, very hot. <laughs> and I'm bad with heat. I'm built to sustain heat. Or, or like to, to like retain heat. In cold weather. I'm not built to be around heat. Australia has spiders. Yeah. The biggest spider I've ever seen was like the size of my thumb. With like... And that's including like body legs and everything. So like... That, that that was pretty that was pretty big. But I know that in Australia they get way, way bigger, and I don't know if I could handle that. The spiders jump, yeah, there's some of them that jump. There's some that are the size of your hand. I know, I've seen them. I've seen them on, like, in photos and pictures. And I, I've petted one. I've petted a tarantula once. That was a little bit scary. God, it was so... Ugh, just thinking about it, it just, like, made me... Ugh. Was the spider furry? Yes, yes it was. It was a long time ago. I was very young. It was sitting in like like in a, in a little space where you could pet it. At a zoo. know some tarantulas are pink i had no idea i did not know that one nature is wild sometimes Like, I was watching, like, um, a video about animals that can change color. 
like chameleons, octopuses, like like some people uh, or like some animals do it for for like camouflage, whereas others it's just a reflection of their mood. And it was like a close up of like the pigments in their skin and seeing what they were doing when they're changing color. It's like it looks so surreal. Nature is a wild place. It's very strange. This is why I stay indoors. Me too. I don't go outside much. <sighs> oh goodness me. That's why it's called wildlife. A. <laughs> What else is on my agenda for today? There's a few things that I gotta do. I gotta reply to a few things. I gotta talk to Staff Son. I gotta do some of my own work. And then I'm probably gonna do something. I don't know. Maybe something to try and relax a little bit. Unwind a little. Gonbo work, thanks. I've been trying to get as much busy work out of the way as I possibly go. Whoa, whoa, Maria, hello. Thank you for the raid. Here you come, where when I'm sitting here talking and very, very, very tired and <laughs> perhaps not entirely conscious. How was your stream? What you, what you get up to? Everybody coming over from Maria's stream, like, just come in here, sit down, open up a drink, chill, we're just, we're just blabbing. Stream was fun, played Witch Spring and R for ages. Ooh! Sounds like a good time. Glad you had fun. Mm. Any Valorant plans? Uh, I The thing with me and Valorant, I usually don't plan it. I don't play Valorant very often at all. The the few times where I do play Valorant, it's usually just me hopconning. Spontaneously. Six hours is a short stream for Maridin. Just this doll be built different, I'm telling you. Yeah, that, that's how a hopcon usually works for me. I just, I just jo join. Usually don't like plan that like, oh, I'm gonna play Valorant on on this date. <sighs> I should probably like go over like more l more ideas. For like stuff that I want to like play, is it like there was this one, one time when I asked like for a bunch of games that we didn't have permits for as of yet, but like a lot of them, just sort of nothing came of it. So maybe I should like ask for an update on that, because there's a few of them that I really really want to play. Like, um, for example, the, the, the game that I want to play right now, number one, like number one on the list that I want to play is, uh, it's, it's by the same person that made Iron Lung, if you guys remember that. Uh, it's called Squir Squirrel Stapler, where you hunt squirrels in a woods and then staple them to your dead wife to bring them back to life, and then you get to meet God. That's not, that's not a spoiler, by the way. It says that on the Steam Storm page. Hell of a synopsis, I know, right? <laughs> Is it a horror game like Iron Lung? Eh, I wouldn't say so. It has horror elements to it, I believe. <sighs> it's 
Excuse me. Bejeweled? Still working on that. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that one day... One day we can play Bejeweled. I think it would be fun. There's also that, um, that sort of retro anime looking game that came out recently, Little Goody Two, two Shoes. Eh, two Shoes, I can't talk. I really want to play that. That looks like it's right up my alley. And the, uh, the art style and aesthetic is just like to die for. It's great. Okay, that's good to hear. Good to hear that it was well received. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna see if I can, if I can sink my teeth into that at some point. All the girls look like Toho characters. I'm sold. Any karaoke stream plans? Uh, I do want to do something for the anniversary of. Uh, the, my very first karaoke stream, which is in January, I think. But uh, I have something that I want to do, but I haven't started in terms of like planning or organizing. So I would have to get to that first. Needy streamer overload. Uh, I have played that a little bit on my own time. So I do know a little bit about what happens in it. I haven't got gotten all the endings. I've only gotten like four. Four or five or something like that. So I know a little bit about what it's like. I can still play it if like you guys would still be interested in that. I just feel like the game like like there was there was a period where the that game was like all the rage, all the hype, but that's sort of passed now. Hypey Dan, there's still a lot to see. Okay, maybe I'll give it a try at some point. Finish <laughs> Fred and Bread. Uh, I would have to bring Selene for that. Me and Selene already have like, how many unfinished games? We didn't fi finish Rayman Legends. We didn't finish Dead Space. We didn't finish Bread and Fred. <laughs> I'm starting to sense a pattern here. Dead Space isn't dumb? <laughs> nope. No, it is not. It's like kind of becoming an inside joke. I know, right? Uh, when was the last time we played? We're, we're making it like... We're, at this rate, like we're sort of making it a yearly thing, right? Let's see. Uh, okay, so last time we played it was eight months ago. So, uh, like four more months. Four more months, then we'll play Dead Space again. That, that's the deal. In four more months, we'll play Dead Space. Maybe that, maybe that time we'll actually finish it. <laughs> maybe we can make like an endurance and just be like, okay, one, one, one once more, Selene, with feeling, let's try to finish this. Endurance collab. 
How and what? How many endurance streams has Selene done? I know she did the B drill one because that one has sort of become legendary. Uh, there was the Phasmophobia one. What other ones? Apex, oh right, the Apex Master Grind, of course. For me, the only endurances I've done is like Persona and I guess technically Celeste. That was meant to be endurance, but it was only like six hours and so like it's not like really endurance endurance. The witness? Oh yeah, the witness. Okay, yeah, that one counts. And that was that was gorilla too. God. Oh, the witness. Jump King Endurance. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. My my very first endurance. <laughs> Jump King. <laughs> ah, fun times. Back when people didn't know what to expect of Luxium. And then they saw us play play the funny rage games and be surprisingly good at it. First F bomb right now. First F bomb was in Celeste. It was when Mista sent me something. He sent me a tweet that was like a really funny illustration. That's when I said said the F word on stream for the first time. It's like one of the first clips of myself that I saw too. The horse roller coaster pick? Yeah, that that's the one. The one that people bring up the most was during the Jump King DLC. That's the one that people won't let me forget. <laughs> I was... I was an F word and a half. <laughs> and people will never stop bringing it up to me. <laughs> Peak fiction, goat, raw, and fire. I wonder if there's like, I know I know that I cursed quite a bit during some streams in Swedish. Like I, I wonder if you were to count up all the times that I've cussed in English, how many times? have I done so? I would I wouldn't think that it's compared to like most members of Ian, it's not too much. The Swedish not count. No 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 I'm talking English. English exclusively. Maybe less than ten no more than ten. I'm thinking like maybe like twenty or thirty. Like in the twenties or thirties. If you were to compare it to other people, then it's like, not a lot at least. I'll bet on 50? That seems a little bit high. Do I really say it that much? Careful, someone might actually go back and count them for you. <laughs> I mean, I am curious. Maybe, maybe, maybe it can be like a, a joint effort. I don't want anybody to like subject themselves to that like too much.
Like, if you include Swedish swear words, then it jumps up quite a bit. But it's because sw swearing in Swedish doesn't feel as aggressive. At least sometimes. <laughs> Clippers be like, all right, bet. Please, Clippers. Practice some self-care. Half of your swears are in Swedish. I mean, I wonder why. <laughs> Could there be a reason for it? <laughs> Soon I can breathe in compilation. <laughs> you know, at this point, I wouldn't even put it past some people. Like, they... I... I... Never thought I would hear a compilation of myself, like, rubbing my nose. Just going... <laughs> you know, sometimes when your nose is itchy and you just do that. And then there's... Never expected somebody to track down every time I've done that. And put it into a... Like, compilation. What a, It's a strange time we're living in. <laughs> The Swedish that I know. Tack så mycket, söt helvete. Thank you, Sora Sora san. I mean, that's all you need to know, right? You just need to say thank you and you don't need to know how to say hell. If you, if you got that down, then you're ready for Sweden. Just, just step off the flight. Like uh, when you see uh, when you're at the airport and you see like w like welcome to Sweden or something, just find the nearest staff member and just go helvete to them, and they'll be like, "Hey, welcome to Sweden." Please don't actually do that. Disclaimer: that is a joke. Do not do that. We might get deported. Nah, you're not gonna get deported. Swedes are too much too much of a pushover to do that. At least it's not a sign saying it. <laughs> uh, yeah. God. I still remember when that happened. <laughs> like when, when Nina Senpai was holding that sign high over her head. I'm like, please don't. Do that. There are people stepping off the plane and they can read that. Good times, good times indeed. That was so much fun. The Niji EU season one and season two. I think that was season two, I believe. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was season two. You forgot? Listen, it was like a it was like a year ago or something. What did the sign say? Uh, Nina Senpai asked me to write something on it, and I did, <laughs> so that Sensei would see us, and. Uh, he saw. I think a lot of people saw. A lot more people than I wanted to see. Because Nina Senpai kept holding the sign as high above her head as she possibly could. And I was like, no, don't do that, please. If you want to make this joke, at least wait until you see him. just looked at her and just like, you do realize what kind of flight this is, right? And she was like, what? And I just said, it's Japan Airlines. They're gonna know. Did you hide behind her? No, I walked away. I walked away. I, I, I stood, I stood a little bit further away, so it wouldn't, it seemed like I wasn't associated. <laughs> I do not know this fox lady. I have never seen them before in my life. Mm. 
Greetings, Lord Ike of House Evelyn. That's a new one. I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> Have you considered using your death metal scream to intimidate unwanted or annoying people pe uh, pestering you? Uh, no, because metal screaming at somebody in real life is actually very much not intimidating at all. It's just like a very aggressive form of like vocals and like doing any sort of like... Like if you want to intimidate somebody, just scream at them regularly like a crazy person. That's infinitely more scary than somebody metal screaming at you. It's not as loud as you hear on song. Yeah. A lot of metal screams are not very loud, especially low ones. The, lo the low ones that sound... That sound really, like, monstrous and demonic are actually some of the quiet ones. And it's very, and it's very quiet. That's, that's why compression and a bunch of effects used during mixing to make them sound a lot a lot more aggressive <sighs> unless you're Alex Ter terrible okay but Alex terrible is a different breed that is not the same like that's like hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby like it, it's not the same. Hydrogen baby versus coughing bomb. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, but I did. <laughs> I keep laughing at it, damn it. What's the concept in context? It's just a way of saying like, okay, you're out of your league. Humor is gone. You you guys know this. My humor has been long gone since ages ago. <sighs> like this is. <sighs> That's like a triple yawn right there. Thoughts on dark humor? Uh, it can be funny. I like myself some dark humor. But dark humor is very easy to get wrong, so it has to be done right. <sighs> I, I remember I made a really dark joke on one of Billy, Millie's streams. I think it was during her birthday totsu. Like over a year ago or something. When, uh, I think it was Scarlet that went before me that said something along the lines of what is the three things that you would buy at a store to weird the cashier out? And, uh, I turned that into a pretty dark joke. And somebody clipped it and the comments for it was really funny. The grocery list? Yeah, like I would buy silly string, a bath bomb, and a toaster. And one of the comments on the clip that I found just made me laugh so hard because it just said, One last party before I go. <laughs> In reference to the silly string. I thought that was pretty funny. It's kind of dark. <laughs> Good comment. I, I agree. That was a good comment. <laughs> One last party before I go. <laughs> Jesus. got super focused on like on the rain for for just a brief moment 
because I thought there was thunder in it. I made it, I made it very specific that I could find one with that didn't have thunder in it because I remember once when I had thunder in it and I wanted it to be relaxing and I, I don't mind thunder. I think thunder is kind of like cozy when you hear it. But then there were other people in chat like the thunder is freaking me out. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Well, this was supposed to be relaxing. Dang it. My deepest thanks, I will put this newfound knowledge to good use. I bid thee the best 24 hours. And may your slumber be peaceful, Baron Evelyn. Thanks, James. <laughs> Baron Evelyn. That's another new one. My man's you know, collecting, like, I'm, I'm collecting them all. At this point, I'm collecting titles like it's Pokemon cards. This is not the same one as the work stream? I don't think it is. I don't believe it is. We can call you anything at this point. You guys do that anyway. <laughs> Nothing would change. I think I've lost count of how many different names that I have. My liege. I just think that my liege is like a funny way to address someone. Like bang or tweet, my liege. I think that's a funny sentence. The VTuber wiki has quite a few. Yeah, I don't know why there are so many. Like the majority of those I, I don't even get to refer to by anymore. <laughs> I feel like there was just somebody that was trying to think of as many as possible and just tried shoving them all in there. Hey, maybe that's one of my accolades. <laughs> Niji Sanji Ian's member with the most nicknames. Usually people only have like two or three nicknames. I have so many. None of which I get called. <laughs> There's only like a handful of them. I feel like the mm, number one nickname that actually makes sense is like Ikey. That's the one I've grown the most, fo most fond of. Ikey is a nice nickname. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Out of all my, all my nicknames, that's probably my favorite. Is Swedish st a sweetheart still a thing? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if people still call me that. I know that they used to. Maybe they've stopped. I don't know. <laughs> Ike is an adorable nickname, to be honest. I like it, too. I think it's cute. See, Rem, thank you very much. I'm learning Swedish by myself. Can I ask how to distinguish between et and en, mit and min? By the way, I take back the super chat. I asked you for advice 10 minutes ago because it's embarrassing. Wait, what did you what did you ask? Hold on, let me go check. I think I might have missed that. Let me have a look. I think I might be blind. I don't see it. Oh wait, there it is. Mm. I don't think I am experienced enough to give a good answer to that. To that, I am very sorry to say, uh, but uh, I wish you all the best nonetheless. And to distinguish between et and en and mit and mit. I don't really know off the top of my head. It's, 
that's the thing about that sucks about languages because usually you know when people um say that oh the best way the, to learn a language is by talking to natives no not always the case because native speakers will sometime like if they haven't like actually studied the language and figured out the rules like themselves like why things are the way that they are they will know what is right and what sounds right when you ask them okay but why is it that way they'll have no idea it's like i can think of some rules that make sense around et and eden and mit and min but those rules get broken sometimes so sometimes the rules get broken and i couldn't tell you why and that's why native speakers are <laughs> sometimes so i could i couldn't really tell you i just i just feel it for example like if you say my tv in swedish you would say min tv like but but if you say my video game then it will become mit tv spel so both of them start with tv like as the actual like was it subject noun i i forget um but for whatever reason like the the word coming before it for my or mine it's kind of like it, it changes and i couldn't tell you why it makes makes no sense i'm sure there's a sure there's an explanation but i don't know what it is <laughs> it's more of talk to natives but don't ask them why yeah natives are good for practice maybe not always teaching unless they have specifically like studied to become teachers Maybe it's the gendered object. We don't have gendered objects in Sweden, unfortunately. Haruka-san, thank you One of my students is going to Kobe tomorrow to take an exam at Art University. It's my first time at, uh, being a teacher and I feel even more nervous than she. Watching your stream felt like it eased my mind, so thank you. Thank you very much and no need to thank me. Like You're, you're the one putting in, putting in all the work, so I would just want to say also to you and... I'm, I, can, I can understand be, uh, being a little bit nervous, but I'm sure they're going to do fine and you'll have somebody to be proud of. It's going to be okay. Teaching a language is a lot harder than speaking it. Yeah, very true. What was it like to learn English, Ike? I'm going to be honest with you. It just kind of happened. I didn't actively go out of my way to learn English, it just happened. I was around English so much that eventually I just understood enough of it. Like I could watch movies and YouTube videos and understand close to everything. Even though like my speaking and like spelling was atrocious at the time because I was very young. But I specifically remember, like, the first time I was able to have a very simple conversation in English. And it was just me, like, regurgitating sentences that I had picked up from movies and video games. But it worked. It was enough for me to hold a simple conversation. And that's when I was just like, oh my god, I actually spoke English. And then I just kept watching. I think one big thing that contributed to me learning a lot of English is... I, for whatever reason, I don't know why I did this, but when I first got into, like, anime, I always watched English dubs for a lot of shows, if they were available. So, that was a lot of English input for me. Like, I watched Bleach in English, I watched Naruto in English, I watched Dragon Ball in English, and these are, like, shows that span hundreds of episodes, so... We're talking like, like easily over 500 episodes of nothing but like English speaking. And there were no su subtitles or anything because it's dubbed. So it was just English, English, English. And then eventually I was just able to speak to people. Like 
I'm trying to remember the first time... The first time I spoke to someone... Like, like the first time I made an English friend. I think I might have been, like... 14? Is when I, like, first, like, had, like, a proper Skype call with somebody that was... That was English. Something along those lines? It was either a... Okay. I'm, I'm thinking it could, it could have been two people. It was either a dude from Wales or somebody from the US. I don't know which one of them I met first. But the first time, like, the, the, the main... The other guy from the US... I didn't speak to him much. We usually spoke through email. Or instant messaging. The only time I ever heard him was like one time when we sat down and played Halo. <laughs> All the Swedish students at my school speak fluent English. Yeah, that that's the thing in Sweden. Most people are fluent in English. Are you still in touch? No, I haven't spoken to them for like... Like probably 10 years. I wonder what they're up to now. Are you sleepy in Ike? I've been sleepy this entire stream. Can you still find them? Probably not. It's like... Even when you... When you, um, whatchamacallit, if you know what somebody used to go by, like, for example, like, everybody has, like, usernames on different websites. Like, some people move on from usernames. Like, for example, let's say, like, I had a username called One Scribbly Boy, <laughs> which is a joke, by the way, because I still use that username. If people were to look up One Scribbly Boy that made a, that made a post on uh, on Twitter or on Skype, like, in the year 2011. If they wonder, like, hmm, I wonder what happened to him. So they go, like, they message, like, hey, one scribbly boy, are you still around? And I probably don't have access to that account anymore. I probably don't use Skype anymore. I'm, I might be on Discord and changed, changed my username. So nobody would really know where I am or where I've gone to. There's plenty of people that don't, that I don't know where they are or where they've gone to. Heck, it even goes for classmates, you know? People that you spend, like, sometimes years with. And then, once you graduate, then you just go separate paths and you don't really see each other much anymore. Skype is still alive? Yeah, it is, but nobody uses it. My cringy old usernames, oh god. <laughs> Everybody has cringe usernames at one point or another. People use video calls now? Not me. I don't like video calls. I don't like calls in general. Like, I, I like hanging out in VC, but like actually calling on the phone? No. You, you will never catch me FaceTiming. You won't catch me FaceTiming ever. You know what's really funny, though? Whenever you meet someone, like, way, way, way in the past, and, like, you, you, it doesn't matter if, like, you're really close friends or, like, if you're just, like, acquaintances, and then, like, you go your separate ways, you don't see each other for years, and then years down the line, you just happen to pop up in the same place. And it becomes like the Spider-Man pointing meme. I'm just like, you! No, you! What? what? How the heck are you here? What happened to you? You were, you were gone all those years. What about you? You were gone all those years. That's awkward. It's not awkward. It's just like shocking sometimes how tiny the world is. I don't really feel awkward about it. The few times that it's actually happened, I've just kind of went, went like, Yo, that's so wild. I 
I'm always too scared to join VCs. Then maybe you can start with like smaller VCs with people that you're more comfortable with. And maybe you can join muted and just type. And then eventually, like, once you feel comfortable and brave enough, you can speak up. <sighs> like, I remember the very first time I had a call with like a group call with a bunch of English speaking friends online. I'm trying to remember how long ago was that? I think it was 2000, 2012 or 2013. Yeah, 2012 or 2013. That was the first time I ever had a group call with English speakers and I was able to talk to them just fine. And uh, I made a lot of friends back then. It was fun. I have no idea where most of them are right now. I know, like, a few of them, what they're up to. Even though we don't talk anymore. It's, it's nice to see that they're still around. I'm like, okay, cool. They're still around. They're doing well. Damn, that was a decade ago, Ike. Don't remind me. God, please don't. <laughs> I've already had such a crappy experience with time. I don't need to be reminded that it's slowly slipping through our fingers. <sighs> oh my god. Any experience using MySpace? Thank god no, I never used MySpace. One second, I gotta... Ugh, excuse me. Nose being stuffy. Who else keeps yawning after that? I, I've noticed that whenever I yawn, other people are also yawn. It happens... It happens to me too. Like, I remember when I... When I watch uh, certain VTubers and they'll yawn or something, I'll catch myself yawning too. I think it's like an empathy response or something. Spamming is cringe. It's because of lack of oxygen? I don't think so. Or is it? Is that the reason why we yawn? Because lack of oxygen? Is it? Hold on, let me... Man, I must be really bad at breathing. Yawning. Lack. Of oxygen. Is yawning... Scientists used to think that we yawn due to a lack of oxygen. But... More recent research in the 1980s disproved this theory, since breathing in more oxygen or carbon dioxide didn't affect how often one's yawns. Myth busted. So, no, it's not because of a lack of oxygen. There we go. Just your daily Ike going, well, actually... <laughs> I thought I was just bad at breathing. I mean, I am pretty bad at breathing. Screen apnea is something that comes and goes with me quite a bit. And there's a lot of times when, I'm be when I'll be doing something, whether that be music related or especially like uh, when I used to be like back on my After Effects BS and doing like motion graphics, there would be like times where I catch myself running out of oxygen because I forget to breathe. Ugh. 
Zach effect's really that addictive? No, it's just that when you get super focused on something, sometimes you forget to breathe. It's called screen apnea. Concerning, I mean, you're not gonna, like, run out of oxygen or, like, pass out or choke or something. The most you're gonna be like, Oh god, I gotta breathe. <gasps> what do you mean you just forget to breathe? Just breathe. I'm... Sometimes you forget to breathe. It happens to some people. It's like when you tell someone, like, you're now thinking about breathing. And when you tell them that, all of a sudden they're paying full attention to their breathing and doing it consciously. <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> wow, the rage in chat right now. Like, how dare you make me think of that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, you'll forget about it soon enough and do it involuntarily. Elfie, thank you very much. I have news to share. And I've tried to move up to the upper level of English conversation class and I've been adjusting well. Your streaming not only relaxed and motivated me to strengthen English, Thanks for all the great content. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that. Just from your writing, your English sounds great. I can breathe however I want, dear sir. Well, good for you. As long as you inhale enough oxygen to keep, to keep existing. That's all that matters to me. As tempting as it might be to explore the unknown, do not try to breathe in places where it might not be safe to soon do so. For example, don't try to breathe underwater. Not the greatest idea. How long can you hold your breath? I can not as long as I used to. I used to like do a lot of diving, so one of my favorite things was to go to the bathhouse and dive down to the bottom, and the longest I managed to stay down there at the very bottom was like, like a minute or something. A minute, a minute 30, somewhere somewhere between there. I think that that pool was like 4.3 meters deep or something. But that's when I was like a lot more active and athletic. And I was in like way better shape. So I can probably not do that now. Plus, I don't even remember the last time I went to a bathhouse. Last time I went to a bathhouse might have been like 2015. That's so long ago. That's the latest one I remember at least. Ike the diver moment. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should open a sushi restaurant and start diving. Do you prefer pools or lakes slash the sea? I'm a pool kind of guy. Pools give a lot more freedom with diving and whatnot. And and I like diving. I was like jumping from like jump towers. There's not as many in the ocean or lakes for that. I don't mind swimming in lakes. I've done done it quite a bit because like there's so much nature in Sweden. And there's like summer houses and stuff like that. And summer houses are usually near lakes. So you can go down to the docks and jump in. And then there's also, you know, the whole tradition of it being a sauna at around like 100 to 110 degrees. Get your body like really warm, run out, and then jump into an ice lake. That sounds nice. It is nice. It's a bit of a bit of a shock, but it's nice overall. Aside from parkour and diving and karate, what other sportsy thing have you done? Uh, once when I went up north, uh, I did uh, downhill mountain biking. I almost died doing it, but I did it. 
I think I told this story before. Which is why you should wear your helmets. Oh, the head injury one. Yeah, that one. Uh, what else? What else have I done? Let me think. Mm. Uh, I snowboarded for a brief... Well, for like maybe two winters. I wasn't very good at it though. I was better at a ski board. Which is when you're not strapped down. You just have like... A little tether. To like keep yourself balanced. Hmm... Besides that... I don't think I've... I've done anything like overly sporty. Have you tried ice skating? Bro, I'm Swedish. <laughs> of course I have ice skated. Rode a horse? Uh, twice in this timeline. Are you good at ice skating? I'm I'm okay. Have you skateboarded? Yes. Yes I have. I guess, I guess we can add that to the list too. Yes, I I did use it to skate quite a bit. That was around the same time or like slightly before I picked up parkour. How does snow feel like I've never gotten out from a tropical climate? I mean, it's cold. Like if you want, if you want to experience snow, just like grind up some ice and you'll get somewhat something that's somewhat close to it, I guess. Crunchy too? Yeah, it's very crunchy. Unless it's like powder snow. I always thought snow was just cold sand. <laughs> not quite. It's not that fine. Have you ever tried to eat ice? Like, who hasn't? Snow oisey. <laughs> Please don't eat snow. It's very dirty. Don't do that. You can get sick doing that. You wouldn't eat stuff on the ground, now would you? I thought it's clean. No, it's on the ground. Would you eat things off of the ground? I would hope not. And think about all the animals, like the outdoor animals that could have walked past there. What if what if you decide to like pick up some snow and eat and right underneath it it's some old deer poop? Would you want to put that in your mouth? Shaved ice is the bomb, though. Okay, but that's different. That's not off the ground. Well, that's a different story now. See? You gotta think about these things. Hey, Aiki. Today's my birthday. Can I get a happy birthday from you? Love you and thank you for all the content. Happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful time. Sorry that it's... Tired Ike wishing you a happy birthday. I hope it's still okay. The top layer is still okay. That's the one that's the most exposed though, isn't it? Like what, uh, like what if I... What if I spit somewhere on the top layer? And then like that spit sort of like sinks in and freezes and then you eat that. Do you want to run that risk? You won't really notice that somebody has spat there. Okay, a disturbing amount of you guys are entirely okay with that, and I, um, I, 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 I don't know what to say to that. I, I, I have no words for that. I 
I feel like that might be maybe a good place to cut it and for me to go back to sleep. Like, because after that, no, who boy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you so much. All right. I think, I think I'm gonna go and try to get my life back in order. But thanks for coming by to this little gorilla stream of me being tired and rambling about nothing. I hope it was fun. I had fun. It was fun, cozy. It was good to see you all. It's always fun to see everybody show up and hang out and have a good time. It's one of my favorite things. Yoko-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for the FI gift. That's nice of you. All right. I'm just gonna go over here. Click on that. Hmm. Uh, I guess if I do that, oh, that's gonna happen if I do that. I guess I'll just, I guess, end stream right here in that case, just so in anybody, in case anybody wants to use this, they'll not hear any sort of like music or whatever start all of a sudden and uh, trouble them or whatever. Oh, and I thank you very much for the super chat. All right, I'm just gonna. End the stream right here and uh, let you guys be off and do whatever the heck you want. Thanks for stopping by and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around hopefully very, very soon. I'm just waiting for my Chrome window to unfreeze so I can actually end the stream. Uh, there we go. Come on. I believe. God, YouTube has been slow lately. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by.